We're going to turn to the latest on the coronavirus emergency. The number of confirmed cases in the U.S. topping five and a half million. As a new study released overnight finds some asymptomatic children have higher levels of the virus than adults who have been hospitalized. Whit Johnson has the latest as schools struggle to reopen. This morning, new evidence that kids, even those without symptoms, could be helping to spread the pandemic. The Journal of Pediatrics publishing a study overnight looking at nearly 200 children who were hospitalized or went to urgent care, finding that they carried a viral load significantly higher than hospitalized adults. Researchers also implying that schools may have to focus on testing strategies instead of temperature checks because kids could have high levels of the virus while also being asymptomatic. There have been some studies to show that children from 10 to 19 can transmit to adults as easily as adults transmit to adults. In New York City, the largest school district in the country, the teachers union sounding the alarm, threatening legal action, demanding that schools have PPE, proper ventilation, and require testing for students and teachers. This city went through hell and came back, and we are not going back to hell because of short-sighted political agendas. In Florida, the state's largest teachers union suing to stop in-person learning as the state just recorded more than 10,000 deaths. I've chosen my students over so many difficult things, but I, I can't put my family at risk. Well, I will probably get this one. One so. teacher in Utah yeah. moving into his basement with his son for months, uh, even installing a toilet as a distancing precaution for his high-risk daughter. How hard can it be? You're just living like in a dorm room in your basement to have your family right there and yet untouchable. And new this morning, the Policy Lab at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia launching an online tool so you can see if your county meets their criteria for schools opening safely. It's important to see that your area is stable or getting better. Only a couple dozen of the 750 counties that we track each week would meet those criteria today. There is also news this morning about blood plasma from patients who've recovered from the virus as a potential treatment for COVID-19. The FDA is now putting emergency authorization on hold. Some infectious disease experts, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, have argued that more data needs to be reviewed, showing its effectiveness before a decision can be made. George. Okay, Whit, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.